Today's UN report on Syria names names of senior Syrian commanders allegedly responsible for crimes against humanity. That list, as you heard earlier, is strictly confidential for now. But we're hearing that it's based on credible and consistent evidence and tracks the alleged abuses to the highest levels of the Syrian army and government. Paolo Pinheiro is chair of the UN Commission of Inquiry on Syria, and we have reached him by phone from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, Mr. Chair, if you're so confident uh, in your sources and the credibility, why not just name those names instead of keeping it under some kind of secret thing? Uh, uh, because we are not a, a tribunal, we are not a criminal court, we are not... Uh a criminal investigative body. Uh, what the Human Rights Council requested us was to uh, identify the responsibility of individuals or of uh, state uh, uh, policies uh, uh, practicing uh, uh, human rights, gross human rights violations and crimes against humanity. But we, the publication of names will be a sort of uh, indictment, uh, but this is not in our mandate. And then we decided to, to deposit with the office of the High Commissioner and uh, the Syrian people uh, uh, and all the international uh, community will decide uh, what uh, institutions is competent uh, to deal uh, with this information. And can you at least give me a sense, sir, of whether or, or how close this list of names gets to President Assad himself? If you can't tell no, me whether course. he's on the list, uh, uh, of course not. I, uh, we uh, we decide. We ca I cannot elaborate about the content of the list. Uh, if you read our report, uh, you'll see uh, that uh, the high echelons of uh, the armed forces or in the chain of command uh, are responsible for the practice of these gross human rights uh, violations, but. Uh, we have not uh, indicated the names or the armed units or security branches uh, responsible for this uh, practice. But in the report, we have uh, identified uh, cities, uh, governorates, and situations uh, where uh, these crimes uh, uh, have been committed. What this is so, is, uh, so far as we can go. One of the crimes you uh, talk about in the report is the death of at least 500 children. Can you at least share some details about that aspect of the report? How, how gross is it? No, uh, I, I think this is, uh, is, uh, is, is very serious in the, in the situation of, of Syria because uh, uh, recently we have seen several videos uh, where snipers were uh, shooting uh, uh, kids uh, shooting uh, children. Uh, then I, uh, the the report uh, says that the, uh, the the government has not taken uh, the responsibility to protect uh, the civilian population and uh, and the children. Uh, we have also uh, several allegations of uh, uh, kids, uh, children uh, being tortured, and and this is uh, is very worrisome. And we give uh, some. Uh, uh, very reliable information on, on this uh, situation. What are you hoping happens with this? If, uh, you know, I mean, you did it and you agreed to be chair because you wanted to affect change. That's my assumption. So you can't tell me any names on that list, sir. You say the uh, uh, atrocities are, are, are just that awful. So what do you want to happen with this? Uh, the one that is, uh, first is not our business to solve this crisis. Uh, what we are saying is that uh, uh, there is uh, no possibility of a military solution. Uh, that is the reason why for one year uh, we are seeing the situation. Uh, the Commission is very clear, uh, indicating that uh, uh, the only way out of the crisis is a negotiated uh, settlement. And uh, today, the most urgency, the emergency of today, is a, is a humanitarian truce, a ceasefire in, in the case of homes and other cities, because the situation is not uh, uh, dreadful, not only in homes, but also in, in, in several other uh, uh, cities in, uh, in Syria. And I hope that tomorrow this meeting of the, uh, the Friends of Syria will come 
uh, with some uh, uh, concrete proposals. I want to thank you, sir, for taking the time to talk to me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Chairperson of the UN Commission of Inquiry on Syria, Paolo Pinheiro, on the phone from Sao Paulo, Brazil.